tens of millions of dollars in damage to local businesses and now a drop in tourism. Hawaii is only just beginning to learn the economic impact of the March 11 tsunami and earthquake in Japan. In the days after the disaster in the Pacific, Japanese tourism dropped 15 to 20 percent here in the islands and now major airlines are starting to scale back their business. Now later this morning the Hawaii Tourism Authority meets to discuss strategies to deal with this loss of revenue and here to talk about that is HTA President and CEO Mike McCartney. Mike, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Aloha, thanks for having me. So what are the latest figures from Japan in terms of people canceling their vacations? We're seeing about a 25 percent decline but I think next month we'll see even a bigger decline um, when people's cancellation rates um, start to increase. So it'll be about uh, a 45 percent hit next month on, I think on the total economic uh, impact from Japan. But we have plans to move ahead. We're going to look ahead to North America. We're going to look ahead to Korea, Oceania, beef up those markets and try to make up for the lost business from Japan. So we have a plan that we're going to put into place and we think we can hit our targets for next year. Now the news just came out that the EPA discovered trace levels of radiation here in the islands. Uh, no health threat at all, but the, does this concern you? Because people hear this news and uh, they must, be, some people get concerned about this if they live on the mainland. Sure, we just want to make sure that everyone knows Hawaii is open for business. Those trace amounts that were found, I think, were categorized as minuscule and they have no impact on anyone's health or well-being. We just need to make sure our most important market in North America knows that, understands that. We've been relying on the Nuclear Regulatory Commission to put out those statements and to tell everybody Hawaii is safe and open for business. So we're moving ahead. We're optimistic that we can um, turn this thing around and we can move ahead. I think the most important thing for Japan, though, is to send our aloha to them. They've been such great partners all these years, and Hawaii needs to, to send our aloha to them and show them that um, we're, it's more than dollars and cents. It's about this relationship. And then over time, that market will recover for Hawaii, mm -hmm. and we'll be back to normal. And Mike, you've actually been doing a lot of uh, national interviews, uh, especially in light of this radiation uh, issue. Do you think that people will cancel their vacations to the islands uh, because of not. that? We're going to be working hard with our partners, HVCB in North America, uh, to continue our market saturation programs, take Hawaii out on the road, let everybody know Hawaii is open for business. Our governor has been great in you know, putting that message out. In fact, the president of the United States has said Hawaii is safe. Mm -hmm. So that all helps and adds up. But that's an important market for us going into the next few months. And we want to make sure that people in North America know Hawaii is safe. How much money uh, will HTA get to market Canada and the U.S. Well, what we're going to do is we're not, you know, this is a tough economic time. We know the legislature has to balance a, a tough budget. So we're looking within. We're reprogramming money. We're reprioritizing some of our needs. And we're going to use internal money to go out there and go after those markets. So everybody has to learn how to do more with less. All right. It's certainly a good message. Thank you so Thank much, you. Uh, CEO and President of HDA, Mike McCartney. We really appreciate it. And